Welcome in to College Football Mornings. It is Wednesday, which means that it is the Prize Picks 5 in 5 segment. If you are new to College Football Mornings, you're just checking us out for the first time. This is a morning show from campus Canton.com on the campus to Canton YouTube, where we talk about things like start sits, waiver editions, weekly news, betting, and of course, prize picks. If you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure that you like and subscribe, and you're following the Campus UK and channel for a bunch of weekly and daily content. We have a ton of shows on there, including Debbie Debate, the official uh, betting C2C shows. It is awesome. Let's just get to our, the, the meat of the show is the prize picks five and five. Give you five lines that I like, and then uh, you can use those to build some of your props around. Let's start with Duke quarterback Riley Leonard over 33 and a half rushing yards. He's hit this number in four straight, uh, three, three straight, and one of them he had 29 rushing yards. I don't like the UNC defense in their ability to get after the passer. I think that's probably one of their biggest weaknesses. So I don't think Leonard's going to be taking many sacks in this game. The defense is poor overall, and I think that he's going to need to use his legs because they will be underdogs, and he will probably have to manufacture a couple plays in the rushing game himself. So I like this 33 and a half, and I think he goes over. I think he's going to be closer to 45 or 50 in this matchup. Second, ECU wide receiver Isaiah Winstead over 75 and a half. He's hit a receiving yards. He's hit this in four of five, and the game where he didn't, he has a 73-yard performance. I think he goes over this number, and he is playing a Memphis team that I think is reeling a little bit and not playing well defensively. He's kind of emerged as a, a really good 1A, 1B alongside CJ Johnson for the Pirates. But he's definitely operating as a downfield threat, and he he's someone who I think we need to be paying more attention to in general. But definitely, I really like the 75 and a half, and it feels a little high when you think about it, but this game should be competitive, and they should be passing a, a, a good amount. Third, Hunter Deckers under 15 and a half fantasy points. I don't like... Well, I've seen out of this Iowa State offense. I don't think Hunter Deckers is playing the way that we think he could. This Texas defense has proven themselves to be a pretty good unit. They shut down Oklahoma, and Oklahoma had a backup quarterback, but I don't think Hunter Deckers is playing at a level where we need to be rushing him out or uh, re respecting his potential fantasy point output. So I'm not I'm not rushing to play Hunter Deckers this week in fantasy, and I'm definitely not really interested in his fantasy point line. He's He's been under this line in three games so far this year, and they haven't had the most challenging schedule either. Hunter Decker's under 15 and a half fantasy points. And it, this would be different if he was using his legs and he is not. He's getting, he's getting more sack yards than uh, one would have thought probably coming into the season. Fourth, Mississippi State quarterback Will Rogers over 24 and a half fantasy points. I go over on the Will Rogers line almost every week because it feels like he's not getting enough respect every week despite doing exactly what he does every single, every single time. I mean, he's a shoe in for like 50 pass attempts, 315 plus yards, four touchdowns. And that gets you this 24 and a half number. Uh, the Kentucky defense is kind of not playing to the level that we thought that they would. Uh, Mississippi state's a, a seven point favorite in this game currently, or maybe six and a half depending where you look, but I like Will Rogers go over. He's basically their offense and he, you can count on 304 kind of what we were talking about. Um, I, I really like, uh, playing the old Rogers overs a lot of the time, but I, I think this is a pretty good number and the Kentucky defense is also missing, missing players and they're not getting healthier anytime soon. And then the final one is an interesting one. And I, I put it on here cause I'm not positive. I'm going to play it, but it's worth a discussion. And that's Bo Ibrahim and, going under on his 109.5 rushing yards. So a lot of people I respect, like Mac Jeske and Chris K, have an over on, uh, on this, about like in the 120 to, one, to 125 to 130 range. And that makes sense. Um, I don't know if I trust Minnesota to get that with him, though. The The issue is the Illinois rushing defense is probably top three unit in the country. Uh, Jerzon Newton is, uh, you know, a freak. I mean, he's, what, seven or eight tackles for loss already. And... It's just a unit that can shut down the run. We saw Braylon Allen two weeks ago go for eight for two yards. Um, you have Keith Randolph uh, up there as well, Jatavius, Jatavius Martin. It's a really, really good unit, and I don't think Minnesota's played a, a unit quite like this. They're like 67 total rush yards per game. 
I lean under here. I, I just do. I, I think that it's just a little too high of a number. The concern on the other side is he runs it 35 times and he gets like three yards per carry and it doesn't end up mattering, which could very well happen. So I, I'm not rushing to play this. Like I said, I think he does go under and I think it's a very interesting discussion, which is why I put it on this list. That's our price picks five and five. Again, you can find me everything I do. Chris Moxley 19 on Twitter and obviously campus to Make sure that you are liking and subscribing to our YouTube page to run through our prize picks five and five. Again, Riley Leonard over 33 and a half rushing yards. Isaiah Winstead over 75 and a half receiving yards. Hunter Deckers under 15 and a half fantasy points. Will Rogers over 24 and a half fantasy points. And then the Mo Ibrahim, will he, won't he, 109.5 rushing yards where I lean under. That is all for our prize picks five and five. Make sure you're following along. Again, like, subscribe, help us grow the channel. Let's win some money this week and keep it rocking.